thanks for watching Go Sweet and Skinny TV. Today I have a very special guest, Miss Ariel, who's allowed us to be in her beautiful apartment. And um, Miss Ariel has a wonderful, wonderful healthy food blog called Be Well with Ariel. And she is going to show us one of my favorite, favorite things in the world right now a kale Caesar salad. <laughs> All right, so you ready to learn? I'm so excited to learn. All right, so I made this specifically for you because I knew that you love to cook vegan mm -hmm. and I know that you love Caesar salad. I do. So here we go. So first, main ingredient, kale. Obviously, to make a kale Caesar salad, you need some type of lettuce. I love kale. Great for your blood, great for your immune system. And you always want to look for one that looks alive because the more foods that are, look alive, when you put them in your body, they're going to make you feel alive. <laughs> All right, so here's the trick. Do you know this trick? I do, but I want you to show it. All right, so hold the stem and then pull towards you. Stem stem in one hand and the leaf in the other. So this, this part you could definitely eat. You could chop up and put it into like an omelet or into some pasta with tomato sauce, but it's pretty chewy if you have it in kale salad. That's why you want to take it. Exactly. That's why you want to separate it. Okay? So take all your stems, put Take all your stems, put them aside, <laughs> your stems. Um, take the leaves, and what you wanna do is just place them one on top of the other. This is such a fun trick. And if you have dinner parties, or you're maybe just making a special meal for your boyfriend or something, it's gonna really impress them because they're gonna not gonna know how you did it. So this <laughs> technique is called chiffonade. Now, of course, you can absolutely chop it up. You can even just rip it up to make your life so much easier and just put it into a bowl. I love chiffonade because it looks really fancy and it sounds really fancy, but it kind of just looks like ribbons. Also, it's really easy to pick up with a fork too. That's why I like it. So what you want to do is you want to take your layers of kale and you're just going to roll it up. Roll it up like a fruit roll up, but not. <laughs> Once you roll it up, be careful of your fingers and you're just going to slice it really, really thin until you get chiffonade ribbons. <laughs> So pretty. It's like a party on your plate, on your wedding <laughs> board, okay? All right, then, so once you have the kale, you can put that in your bowl, and then you're gonna make the dressing. Yeah, ready? Okay. The dressing is the good part because this is the hard part to get right. This is the hard part, ready. So I like it super lemony, so you could use a whole lemon, or if you don't like it super lemony and not as thin, if you want it thicker, you could do like a half of a lemon. Okay. So I'm gonna just squeeze it in here, here if you wanna take one. Sounds squeeze good. Squeeze yeah, that in. I love lemon. And then the secret to making it really thick is using tahini, which is made of sesame seeds. So Cassandra, if you want to put that in, mm. I used about a tablespoon of that. Yum. Then we're going to use a half of a teaspoon of really good sea salt. I love a brand called Real Salt. When you look for sea salt, you want it to look really gray or pink or wet looking. That means that it's less processed. And that's important, an important step to not skimp on because if you don't use sea salt or you don't use really good sea salt, you will feel bloated and you'll get all those nasty side effects of eating too much Or like, salt. you know, after eating Chinese food, you wake up and like your eyes are bloated or like your under yeah. eyes are bloated. This will not happen when you have this kind of sea salt. Okay, then here is the secret. Mm -hmm. It is something called oregano or you can also use just dried oregano or oregano leaves. I love oregano oil. It's really good for fighting colds. You can even just put a, a little bit under your tongue, a drop under your tongue, or you could put a little bit of, in water and it will totally kill your sore throat and winter cold. Amazing. So yeah. now when I get sick, I can have kale Caesar salad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the point. Oh, yeah. That is the point. That is the point. So what you want to do is you want to add some droplets in here. About how many drops would you add? I would say about six drops. Okay. And, or again, if you don't have a Whole Foods or if you don't want to order it from Amazon or you don't want to go to the local health food store, which is all the places. But you the should. Parties, but you should. Why not? But you should. It's also <laughs> going to cure your sore throat. Um, if you don't want to go to those places, again, you can always use dried oregano or fresh oregano. Of course. So you're going to put that all in. You're going to whisk it all up. You could use a regular whisk or you could just be easy and just use, you know, yeah, a fork. Whisk it all up. 
pour it into the bowl, and don't forget your garlic. Ah. Don't forget your garlic. Who I love, love using, garlic. I love garlic. Love I put garlic. garlic on everything. Love garlic. So I usually use a, cl a garlic clove. And uh, what you want to do is, I love using a garlic press because then your hands don't smell like <laughs> garlic. And just squeeze that in there. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Mix that all up. Yay. It looks so well, delicious. Huh? I mean, it, it even looks like a. Smells oh so God. good, right? It smells like Caesar salad. And look how beautiful this is. So oh here's the God. Caesar salad. And what I did, just to kind of impress, impress <laughs> my guest over here, I added some watermelon radishes that I found at the farmer's market. How gorgeous. They're so colors. beautiful. And she knows that I love hot pink, right, Team Luda? <laughs> <laughs> so just mix it all up and voila, vegan Caesar salad. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Ariel, for sharing. Now I think we're going to have to eat some of totally, this. Totally. Totally. For more recipes and cooking tips, you can always check out my website at bewellwithariel.com. Oh Cheers. Oh my god. It is so good. Guys, mm. the recipe will be down below and definitely check out Ariel's website. Thank you so much for watching.